Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you are new here and today we are decluttering and organizing our master bathroom. We have shoved so much stuff into this little bathroom with very little organization. So today I am taking everything out of the bathroom, going through everything, decluttering so much, getting rid of trash, packaging, just downsizing and simplifying our space down there. We're also gonna put in a new organization system. You'll see that in a little bit. But first, I wanna share what we are starting with. Welcome to the before shots. It's a little bit scary, not organized, not functional at all. And step one for this whole process is gonna be taking everything out of it. I've said it in the majority of my decluttering videos, but I'm going to say it again. My favorite way to start a project like this is clearing out the space. Taking everything you are working with under the big blanket category of the bathroom, putting it into one giant pile like this, so you can kind of Marie Kondo look at everything you have. And this is so much stuff, way too much stuff for my husband and I, more than we could go through in a couple of years before everything expires. It's kind of like a little gut check, reality check that you don't need everything here. This bin is basically all the organization that I previously had in this bathroom and in our apartment bathroom. If you guys remember, we just shared one under the sink cabinet in this space, and in this bin, I kept all of our backup products. Guys, it was probably the worst system possible. I would have to stack things on top of it because of our limited space. So whenever we needed to go into that bin to pull out like a backup toothpaste or deodorant or something, you would have to pull everything out of that space, clear up, dig in the box, mess everything back up. It was just a horrible, horrible system. So I'm finally getting rid of the bin. I actually turned it into the bin where I'm gonna hold all of our donations and like Goodwill stuff. But for the rest of this video, I'm happy to say no more bins. Parties I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. I'd hang on my friends and it was great. We go out but not that late and I really love and never wanna change. But sometimes I can't help but think Am I missing on something I don't have? Cause I don't wanna give up being good to be bad. Now even though it looked a little chaotic just bouncing from pile to pile while I was organizing and decluttering things, I also made sure that I was categorizing like things together. So whenever I was going through the first aid items or our medicine, I made sure all of the things that I was keeping ended up in a pile together. Same with my hair tools or my hair products. I wanted to keep those categories together to save me time in the future. And now that I've gone through everything, I have my trash pile, my donation bin, and everything I wanna keep and put back under the sink, I'm going to clear out my space. Anything that's not going back under the sink, like leftover organization bins, or my trash pile, or the donation pile, those things are going to leave the room so I don't have to look at even more piles than I have to while I'm reorganizing. And now I'm pulling out my new organization system. I'll talk about them a little bit later, but basically they are these two stacking drawers. I bought a bunch of them from Amazon and I love them. And now it's time to start reorganizing and filling this space back up. Could have been 
and still gets under my skin But is it worth all the stress, all this constant he said, she said, miss Pressure of society, I won't let it get to I'm popping into the storage closet really quick to grab this bin of extra little organization bins I keep on hand from other projects And I'm so glad that I had this bin because I was able to pull a bunch of little containers that fit perfectly into these drawers So these stacking organizers, actually everything I'm using in this project is all from Amazon. I'll have it all linked down below, but I already love this so much. Self-explanatory down there, but up here I turned all of our first aid stuff into here. And one tip is when you're moving into a system like this, take everything out of the packaging. If you're minimizing your collection down to just the essentials that you know you need, you don't really need the boxes to tell you what they are. So all of this packaging is gonna be leaving underneath that sink, which is really gonna free up so much space and then all of this stuff is now super condensed, super organized, and you may have noticed me putting these little organizers inside of the drawers. These actually were a Christmas gift from my mom. Yes, my Christmas list includes little things like organizers, but I love that they're different sizes and that they are the perfect size to fit in here. So I used two little ones to split apart the bandages and like the tape and the gauze from our like loose pills, thermometer. Dayquil, all of that kind of stuff. And then the back things are just floating around loose like the larger items. But I love this system so much and it already looks so much more sleek and organized and contained. And I know I'm gonna be saving tons of space. I'm so excited to start on the next one. Okay, we're getting pretty close to finishing up here. I have one more container, or I don't know what to call these, drawers, that I haven't filled up yet, and there's a handful of random things still, like an extra toothbrush, my husband's contacts, hairbrushes, um, a razor, I do his haircuts at home sometimes, some bath stuff, so a bunch of random things. And I think I'm actually gonna go and rework this drawer. This was gonna be just our backup pile, so I don't know why we have this many backup deodorants, but we do. Backup razors, soaps, hair products, toothpaste, all that fun stuff. But I think I'm now going to split it 
into my backup products and then my husband's backup products because he has a couple things that need to fit in this drawer and I have a couple things that I could fit into this too so I can make it into two spaces if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take this apart, make one for Christian, make one for me, and then we will finish up the rest of the things that need to be organized. are full now and I think this is gonna work. We'll see. I'm probably gonna tweak this over the next couple of days. I feel like with any organization project, when you first put a new system in, things shift around, things change. But right now, I think this makes sense to me. A few outstanding things. I wanna find a way to store my Q-tips and my cotton rounds with easy access. I don't love having to go down into the cabinets for that. I wanna find a way to put that in our medicine cabinet. Same with these little floss picks. So I need to figure out a system for that. And then for my hair tools, I have two that I use very regularly, this blow dry brush and this flat iron. And I was going to buy one of the over the door, circular, like hot tool specific baskets like this, but then I like thought this would be way too wide to fit into any of those little holes and I wanted something a little more universal. So I went with this basket, which was half the price of all of the like hot tool specific baskets. And if I ever change this under the sink system, I can use this somewhere else in the house, whereas the other one's pretty specific for its purpose. So I like this. And then I have three other hot tools. I have a traditional blow dryer and two curling ones that I don't reach for as often. I just don't do that much with my hair frequently but still I want to keep them so they're going to be under in this basket. On top I'm putting all of my like everyday hair products and a couple backup products, hair brushes and self tanner. This is where I'm going to keep my makeup caddy. I recently decluttered so much makeup. I will link that video for you here but I condensed all of it down into this caddy. Behind it I have a little organizer with all of my nail polish stuff. In this drawer I have hair ties, bobby pins, hair accessories. I also have like my fancy makeup, like foundation and that stuff in the very back. I don't reach for it often, so I don't need like easy access to it, but I still wanna hold on to it in case there's a special occasion. I also have my retainers, super cute. And then I downsize like my face mask collection significantly. Like I got rid of everything, but these two little Peter Thomas Roth masks. And I have two little spot treatments for acne. This year I really simplified my skincare and learned less is more when it comes to your face and trying to keep things clear and fight acne. So that is plenty of like fun skincare items for me to have. This bin up top is gonna be Christian's backup items. So all of his backup deodorants, soaps, Toothbrush, toothpaste, razor blades, all of that stuff. This is also that razor kit. 
and then on the bottom is my backup products. So pretty self-explanatory. We've already been through that container, so I think it's time to put everything back into the cabinets now. I actually spoke too soon. First, we need to clean out the cabinets. There's some like weird black stuff in one of them. I need to clean that up. And I also want to go through our medicine cabinets and just tidy that up a little bit, but that'll be really fast. And then we'll be ready to put everything into the cabinets. How many times have I said cabinets? We'll be ready to finish the video and do before and after shots then. So let's get cleaning. I should have looked in here before I did all the organizing. Bunch of random things are in here. I'm not really sure I got rid of anything out of either of our medicine cabinets, mostly because this is where all of our everyday products are. So all I'm doing really is putting in a couple more organization bins because I wanted to have easier access to Q-tips and cotton rounds and those little floss pickers and just kind of straightening things up. Most things are staying in these cabinets though because we use them every day. Now here is everything leaving underneath that bathroom sink. This whole pile is trash. This bag is full to the brim. All of this packaging is leaving. This pile are things I'm gonna be donating because I haven't used them or they're in good condition. And then over here are all of the organization bins I didn't use or pulled out. This is the bin that I mentioned. I keep like backup storage things. I keep them on hand because you guys know I'm always organizing different spaces in my home. And especially for this project, it was super helpful to have a bunch of different sizes already on hand, not having to go buy anything. So I will still hold on to all of these things. Just gonna put them inside of this bin and into this closet. But enough of all the trash. Are you guys ready to see the before and afters? I love editing these before and after shots because it always reminds me that it's definitely worth it to take the time to make your space enjoyable and functional. Every time that we have used our bathroom since doing this video has been so much nicer, things aren't falling down, and it's just overall a much better experience. So I hope this video has been encouraging to you to tackle a declutter project of your own or take care of a space in your house, and make sure you are subscribed if you like this video. I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.